Time to open the library, dot dot dot. Oh my god! Sophia, do you ever change outfits? Or do you have a closet full of those like Superman? What do you hope to find behind that door? Not a puzzle! Well, yeah, I figured that... Did Altair leave behind any clues? I know I have to use Eagle Sense, woman! Bye, Sophia. Yep. Yep. What? Whatever. For some reason it changed angles on me when I got close to her. Is that a person? What the hooks? What the we stuff? What the Oh my god! Oh Tair, you could have cleaned yourself up a little bit before I came over. Each old sludge was translated to a single place. Mars? Oh, F. How are you still alive? Oh, you're not going to be. Oh my god! Oh, oh man. I just beat Ezio's last game. And back where it all began. Hello, Sophia. A homecoming. Ezio and Sofia have arrived at Masyaf after many weeks of travel. Time to open the library. <sighs> Such a climb. Hey man, if a 92-year-old can do it, you can. È così bello qui. This is where your order began? It began reborn. thousands of years ago. Yeah. Hey! Was reborn. See? <laughs> By the man you mentioned, Altair? Altair ibn Laahad. He built us up set us free. He saw the folly of keeping a castle like this. It had become a symbol of arrogance and a beacon for all our enemies. And the mandate for menacing who? Was that his idea as well? No. <laughs> if anything, that falls you on mentioned the creed Darius, before. Right? What is it? Maybe? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. That is rather cynical. To walk through it, it would so be if it were doctrine. But it is merely an observation of the nature of reality. To say that nothing is true is to realize that the foundations of society are fragile and that we must be the shepherds of our own civilization. To say that everything is permitted is to understand that we are the architects of our actions and that we must live with their consequences, whether glorious or tragic. Do you regret your decision? to leave as an assassin for so long? I do not remember making that decision. Oh, we must hurry. This life... You stop It walking. chose me. For three decades, Ma I have served the memory of my father and my brothers, and fought for those who have suffered the pain of injustice. I do not regret those years, but it is time to live for myself. Hang Over up here. That Let them go. Let go of all of this. Then let go. You will not fall far. I like you, Sophia. Man. I don't even know what episode this is, but... This is it. We're ending the final Assassin's Creed replay on the channel right now. How many years? I started the Assassin's Creed 1 replay in 2013, and we're in 2019, and we're just now finishing it. I had the other games to play, road. but it's, it's happening right now. Oh, shit! But there's also a puzzle here. What do you hope to find behind that door? I totally forgot about this puzzle. Knowledge it's like the map wall too. Altair was a profound man and a prolific writer. He built this place as a repository for all his wisdom. He saw many things in his life and learned many secrets, both troubling and strange. Knowledge that would drive lesser men to despair. Wait, what do you Does that worry you? Wait, no, that is it. It goes right there. Okay. Sophia. You should know by now that I am not a lesser man. 
<laughs> Toot my own horn over Thank here. You. <laughs> uh, where in the holy hell does this go? It's one line. This could literally go anywhere. Get a hint? I don't really want a hint. I'm not brain dead. I can figure this out for myself. I don't need your hint. Stop blipping in my face. I'm not stupid. Unless they all connect to this. It looks like they might connect to all of this. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I remember that being hard. You had better come out of there alive. I, I plan to. Maybe it's just because, again, in 2011, I was a fucking idiot. <laughs> Here we go. We're going into the library. This is easily the best moment in the entire game. The minstrel level is fun. And personally, it's like one of my favorites, but just like in terms of like what this whole sequence means for the franchise, this is the best. Oh, and it plays that music from the first game. Mm! So good. This whole scene. Oh god, I might just have to be quiet for the whole thing just so I can appreciate it one more time. No books. No wisdom. Just no you. No books. No wisdom. Just you, fratello mio. Requiescat in pace, Altair. God. So effective and so powerful. And like I said, there's a sixth key. Just to have Ezio and Altair in one form or another in the same frame, in the same room together, is so powerful. Ugh, I love it. You have seen to my books. That was my favorite yes. scene in the whole game, by the way. Some we sent with the polos. In the whole Ezio trilogy. The rest will right go with there. me to Alexandria. Good. Very this good. Scene's gonna make me Father, cry. I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? You should go. When the Mongols return, Masyaf must be empty. This is goodbye. I see. This is not a library at all. It is a vault. It must stay hidden, Darim. Far from eager hands. At least until it has passed on the secret it contains. The music too. What secret? Go, son. Go be with your family. And live well. All that is good in me began with you, father. is where he belongs. I mean, he is like, what, 92 at this point? So... In much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. What does it tell you? What do you see? See, this, this is also so amazing. You enter as Ezio, lighting the torches as you go, and then you go as Altair as he extinguishes them. They walk to the same steps. It's like, ugh. family, what does the apple say? Who were the ones who came before? What brought them here? How long ago? Get rid of that thing! This is my duty, Maria. Maria? Where? Where are you? Where is she? Hmm. If you are asked, say I sent the apple away. Tell them I sent it to Cyprus, or Sipango, or that I dropped it into the sea. Tell them anything to keep men away from this place. This apple must not be found. Not until the time is right. Oh, 
sit a moment and rest. You know what that means. Like, just the way they put it. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. God damn it. Just watching him take a seat and never get up again. And he died alone in the dark. That's just... Such an awesome shot. Oh, this whole end sequence. Say what you will about the rest of this game. I was kind of picking it apart a lot today. But, oh, the ending was near perfection. The ending when this whole Masyaf sequence. Oh, my God. I genuinely do not believe they could have done this any better. This whole sequence here. Perfect. All the flaws the rest of the story has, like... Mmm, this ending on its own. Another artifact. Makes up for it. No. You will stay here. I have seen enough for one life. You have done your part. Desmond? He's talking to me? I heard your name once before, Desmond. Yep. A long time ago. This is the Nexus. Now it lingers in my mind, like an image from an old dream. They're all in the same place. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me. But I know you are listening. You remember at the beginning of Brotherhood, when Desmond sees, like, Ezio's Animus Ghost? And they're, like, face to face? I have lived my life as best I could, not knowing its purpose. Purpose? But drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. And here at last, I discover a strange truth. I love this <clears throat> I am only a conduit so for a good. message that eludes my understanding. I'm just a tool. Who are we, who have been so blessed to share our stories like this? speak across centuries. Maybe you will answer all the questions I have asked. Maybe you will be the one to make all this suffering worth something in the end. I guess he's also not. Like, he's free. Now, listen. That's it. That's the Nexus. Yeah, apparently that's Layla, not Desmond. Apparently. Do you hear me, Cypher? Can you see me? I do, Jupiter. Ah, oh, there you are. Good. Where? Oh, hi. A strange place, this nexus of time. I am not used to the calculations. That has always been Minerva's domain. Pythagoras, all them. Jupiter's like me. I hate math. Many <laughs> questions. Who were we? What became of us? What do we desire? Oh, you? I forgot about this cinematic! You will have your answers. Only listen, and I will tell you how. Good! Both before the end and after, we sought to save the world. We built vaults within which to work, each dedicated to a different method of salvation. They were placed underground. To avoid the war which raged above. Like and also as a precaution should we fail in our efforts. Each vault's knowledge was transmitted to a single place. That's the that's the Grand Temple in three. That looks like Minerva's address. 
Hello. Hey, Juno, I remember when you were important. Minerva's and Juno's, who sought and sung all that was collected. We chose those solutions which held the most promise and devoted ourselves to testing their merits. None of them worked because we tried in succession, each more encouraging than the last, but none worked. And then the world ended. We tried, it didn't work, and everyone died. <laughs> How very grim. This is the cinematic I was talking about. I totally forgot about this. And I'm positive that this video is going to get like a music copyright claim on it because of the song that's going to be used in here. I am almost positive. So I'm going to get the little yellow, the dreaded yellow monetization sign, but I don't care. This, this cinematic and the music in it is so good. Which is now known as the Toba Catastrophe. And this is really the, the like only detailed look we get of what the first civilization actually looked like. In terms of like their city and their people. and knowing that they did everything they could to try and prevent this, even if it didn't work. But... That was the Toba catastrophe. The earth shook for days. The fires burned for weeks. Man, that cinematic still and holds up to this day. Settled, Less than 10,000 of your kind still lived, and far fewer of ours. But we carried on, together, to rebuild, to renew. Listen, you must go there, to the place where we labored, labored and lost. Take my words, pass them from your head into your hands. That is how you will open the way. But be warned. Much still remains in flux, and I do not know how things will end, either in my time or yours. I feel like Jupiter is a little criminally underused. This is the only time we ever see him in any Assassin's Creed game, was in this. I feel like they just kind of like Wait, sh shoehorned look, his him vitals in. vitals are stabilizing. Something's happening. He's, he's moving. It is alive! Desmond, can you hear me? Son? I feel so rested and refreshed. Get me a toothbrush. <laughs> that too, right there. Did you see his hand? I know what we need to do. It was the same hand he touched the pedestal with at the end of three. So everyone assumed he could have somehow survived. But I guess not. And then having it end before 3 came out and being like, oh shit, please don't end there. And then the credits came up. God damn it, I was so upset. <laughs> I mean, not as upset as, you know, the end of Brotherhood. But knowing I was going to have to wait a whole year to find out what happened next sucked. <laughs> but I'm so glad the series is no longer annualized. Um, at least kind of sort of no longer annualized. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's it. That's it. Guys, that was, I mean, we're not completely done yet, because we still have to do the last archive, but in terms of, like, you know, the actual main campaigns of Assassin's Creed, we are all caught up. 
every single Assassin's Creed game ever made in the world. You can see right here on my channel. All of it. From Assassin's Creed 1 to, as of the day I'm recording this, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and everything in between. The only two things that were missing are... I mean, I've played Tyranny of King Washington, I just didn't do videos of them. And so I don't have that on the channel. But maybe one day we'll go back to that if you guys want me to. And also Lost Archive, which we're going to tackle in, like, in the near future. From whenever this goes up. <laughs> but that's it. Oh my god. I can't believe we started this journey in 2013. That was when I started the first replay of Assassin's Creed on this channel with AC1. And it took me almost seven years, probably closer to six years, to finally get through Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations. What? Well, I suppose we could have done the final Desmond's Journey thing from here, but nah, we got it all done and out of the way on time, so that's fine. So it's reconstructing it now. Sixteen gave his life for us. <laughs> what life there was left. So he no longer exists in the Animus. He's gone. But man, th this game had a lot of problems. <laughs> like, a lot of flaws. There were some plot holes in the story, like pulling out these glowing artifacts in public. Vowing to not get your love interest involved long after you had already gotten her involved. And like, I don't, it's just, some of it was a little goofy, I'll be honest. Also, they did try a lot of new gameplay mechanics, most of which did not work. Dead defense, defense, the carriage rides. But underneath all of it, this is still pretty solid. The music is gorgeous. Uh, the ending is one of my favorite endings. Black Flag has my absolute favorite ending of any Assassin's Creed game ever. Revelations is a very close second. It's a very close second. It is so powerful. Mm, I could talk about that ending forever. I love that ending so much. They could not have done that ending better. It was glorious and perfect in every single way. The rest of the game wasn't so much like that, but <laughs> like the ending makes the entire journey worth it. I love the Ezio trilogy. I love Ezio. I'm still Team Altair between the two, I gotta say, but uh, it felt so good to go back and revisit these games again, even though it took me six years to get through the four of them, but <laughs> it was so, so fun. If you guys have not watched my replays of Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood uh, before this, I do recommend you go and watch them because it was an absolute blast going back. And, and, and revisiting these games again. The games that really just skyrocketed Assassin's Creed into popularity. The first one was definitely not perfect, but it was, it was a concept. It was supposed to be the next Prince of Persia, right? It was supposed to be Prince of Persia Assassins is what it was supposed to be called. But then for whatever reason, they were like, you know what, this doesn't really work for us. It doesn't really make sense. We don't really like this. But, you know, we like the idea outside of Prince of Persia. Let's make it a new IP. And look where we are. Once Assassin's Creed skyrocketed into the stratosphere of popularity, Prince of Persia was just kind of forgotten. And it, it's a beloved series. It was really good. And, you know, so it's kind of bittersweet. Assassin's Creed is an absolutely phenomenal series, and it's my fa It's like one of my favorite game franchises ever. Like, right next to Uncharted. Like, I love it so much. But it's also sad because it kind of led to the death of Prince of Persia, at least as we know it. People have been asking for a Prince of Persia reboot forever, but we haven't gotten it in, you know, over 10 years of asking, which is sad. That's it. No more Assassin's Creed replays. We're all caught up. The next time we're going to be doing playthroughs for Assassin's Creed is when the new one comes out, until the franchise eventually ends. And all I can say about that is I, ho I really hope Ubisoft doesn't overstay their welcome. Like, I hope that the games keep being as good as Odyssey or Black Flag or whatever, you know, and I, I genuinely hope that they have the 
the the respect for the franchise they made and the humility to be like, okay, I think I think it's time for this to be done. You know, nothing nothing good ever lasts forever. Ezio's story is complete. Well, kind of. There's the Embers short film, but hell, I'm not watching that on camera. <laughs> I'm gonna help you a fucking mess. So it's on YouTube. Go look up Assassin's Creed Embers short film if you haven't watched it. That explores the very end of Ezio's life and really finishes off his story uh, officially. So if you haven't watched that, go watch it. It's pretty good. I can't believe it's over. I started this journey of going back and playing through the old Assassin's Creed game six years ago. And it took me so ding dong damn long to finally get from the beginning of Assassin's Creed 1 to the end of Revelations, but we're here. And we did it. We did it together. Oh. So I hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of Assassin's Creed Revelations. Um, like and favorite if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And be sure to check the bell. When you hit subscribe, hit the little bell next to it so you'll be notified every time a video goes up. And uh, I hope to see you around for when I tackle the Lost Archive DLC. From what I understand, not many people play that one. And I really enjoyed it. So I would be more than happy to experience it all over again with you. But until then, I will see you in my next video. Farewell, friends.